The Fantastic Four reboot is almost here, but I still haven't made up my mind about whether this movie will be good or a pile of poo like the last ones. What I do know is that it got me thinking about what kind of video game foursomes are out there. I'm Moxness, and it's time to count down my list of the top 10 Fantastic Four teams in video games. Starting at number 10 is a game built around the mechanics of a foursome, it's Evolve! You have the Trapper, Support, Medic, and Assault, four unique classes, all of which must work together to take down the single giant monster. Even though there are multiple characters of each class, it's the four classes that truly create Evolve's team. And it's the focus of gameplay around the 4v1 that warrants Evolve a spot on this list. Did you know that Evolve was made by the same people who made Left 4 Dead? Another game featuring a foursome that... Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't say anymore yet. Hang on. It's Left 4 Dead! Did you know this game was made by the same folks that made Evolve? You did! The concept of a foursome is included in this game's title, so you know it had to make the list. The reason that it's not higher is that apart from the names and backstories, the characters in Left 4 Dead don't play uniquely from one another. Plus, does anyone even remember the four characters' names from the original? No? I'll give you a hint. Three of the names are Francis, Bill, and Zoe, and the last one is Lewis. Still nothing? Well, that's why they're number nine. But they do a lot of, well, surviving, including surviving the tough competition and making it in this list. Here's an iconic video game foursome, if there ever was one. Good old Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Peach. These four worked together initially in Super Mario 2, and at that time, Peach was going by the name Princess Toadstool at least in Western countries. In that game, they were each given unique abilities that they more recently reprised in Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. These four have appeared in many games together, but much of the time, they're not working wholly as a team. Either Mario's working alone, Peach has been captured, or they're directly competing against one another in games like Mario Party and Mario Kart. This is why they're at the tail end of this list. That, and Mario always seems to get high rankings, and I just felt the need for a change. Look, it's another foursome from Nintendo. Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, and Cranky Kong. Now, DK and Diddy were buds from the first Donkey Kong Country game, with Cranky always kicking around as the voice of, well, crankiness. Then Dixie showed up in Donkey Kong Country 2, and all four became playable characters, finally in the Wii U game Tropical Freeze. So why does DK and his crew rank higher than Mario and the gang? Well, even though you can't play as all four together, they're generally working towards the same goals. Um, unless you count Smash Bros. But more importantly, they have the shared balloon or shared life mechanic. Because of this, these games reward teamwork more than the Mario franchise. <laughs> It's the new generation of MK kids from Mortal Kombat X. There's Cassie Cage, the smart-mouthed daughter of Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade, Jackie Briggs, the loyal daughter of Jackson Briggs, Takeda Takahashi, the son of Kenshi, but he was trained by Hanzo Hasashi, aka Scorpion, and finally Kung Jin, the egotistical cousin of Kung Lao. These four new Mortal Kombat characters are the focus of a large part of MKX's story mode, and it is through this story that they eventually learn to work together as a team in order to take down their enemies. They each possess their own fun and unique traits, as well as a nice balance of ability influences from their respective family members, such as Cassie's green energy and Jackie's arm enhancements. Jet Force Gemini is a team that's a personal favorite of mine, as I played a lot of this game back on the Nintendo 64. There's Juno, who can walk through molten surfaces because of his body armor, Vela, who can swim for an infinite amount of time, possibly due to a lack of body armor, Lupus the dog who can hover for a short period of time, and Floyd the flying robot whom you assemble and who eventually helps you to shoot things. Pew pew! The reason this team makes it so high in this list is that you have to play as each character using each of their distinct abilities in order to make your way through the game, and without this teamwork, along with the help of tribal leader King Jeff, you wouldn't be able to defeat the evil Mizar. <laughs> Who had fun playing TMNT on the NES as a kid? Raise your hand! Alright, I can't see if you're raising your hands right now, but that's okay, because I know some of you did. It's the Heroes in a Half Shell, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Though this foursome originated as a comic by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, I figured that their strong presence in some great early console games gives them the right to be here. And 
fairly high in the list as well. That's because these four are super iconic. They have a name that's easy to remember, they each have unique weapons, and most kids can identify with at least one of the four Ninja Turtles' distinct personalities. They're so iconic, in fact, that I don't think I need to say anything more except turtle power. It's the Guardians of the Lilat System, Team Star Fox. First, we have Fox McCloud, the leader of the squad who is following in his father's footsteps. Second is Falco, who's actually a pheasant, and who's always dishing out smart-ass remarks. Third is Peppy Hair, the rabbit that's- Do a barrel roll! He's the rabbit that- Do a barrel roll! He's obsessed with- Do a barrel roll! Well, you get the picture. And finally, it's Slippy Toad, whom you kind of want to just leave behind to die. Either that or strangle him with your bare hands. Whatever the case, this team is an iconic foursome in the video game world, and unlike the other two Nintendo entries on this list, these four all work together and are part of the same squad. Did you know that Miyamoto originally wanted the Star Fox franchise to become a puppet drama TV show like the classic Thunderbirds? And this is part of the reason why there are creepy looking puppets on the cover of the original NES game. <laughs> Check out these beauties. And by check out, I mean from the psychiatric ward, because these women are batshit crazy. It's the Beauty and the Beast unit from Metal Gear Solid 4. All four of these ladies suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, and each one's backstory is more twisted than the last. Laughing Octopus was forced by cultists to kill her own family when she was a child. Raging Raven slaughtered an entire squad of soldiers along with their civilian prisoners while cawing like a raven. Crying Wolf hallucinated that a wolf murdered the children of an African refugee camp when, in fact, it was her. And after being locked in a cellar, Screaming Mantis had to survive by eating human corpses. Do these sound like the perfect candidates for a squad of solid snake hunting assassins? Well, they did to Liquid Ocelot, who recruited each one and gave them their trademark robotic suits. With such fantastically horrific backstory, this foursome had to rank near the top of the list. Another great thing about this team is that, like the MK team I mentioned earlier, these characters reference other iconic predecessors within their own franchise. Their names being derived from the Foxhound unit in Metal Gear Solid, their weapons from Dead Cell members in MGS2, and their emotions similar to the Cobra unit members of Metal Gear 3. <laughs> Bum -ba -da -da. This ghostly foursome are the OGs of video game villains. It's Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Clyde. These four googly-eyed ghosts are a cohesive unit, always working together to thwart Pac-Man's attempts to gorge himself on power pellets. Well, I guess not always. See, to many people, they might appear to perform the same function of chasing Pac-Man. Creator Toru Iwatani has stated that each ghost was programmed uniquely, which is true. Blinky is always chasing Pac-Man, Pinky is always seeking out a space ahead of Pac-Man, Inky seeks out a space correlated to both Pac-Man and Blinky's position, and Clyde switches back and forth between chasing Pac-Man and trying to get to the bottom left of the maze. And if you look at the Japanese character descriptions, their names reflect this behavior. In what is now such a basic game, it's really nice to see how much thought and story was put into these characters. That's it for the top 10 fantastic foursomes, but before I wrap things up, here's a few honorable mentions that didn't make the list. is your favorite? Got any that I missed? Post your thoughts in the comments. I'm Moxus, and until next time, flame on! Oh shit! <laughs>